Have you ever thought about how the internet works between continents? I'm guessing you don't know. 95% of the internet goes through underwater cables that lie at a depth of up to five miles. They're armored better than Swiss safes, so one mile of such a cable weighs 2,000 pounds. Despite this, just in the Atlantic Ocean alone, there are more than 50 cable breaks every year, often due to thieves stealing cables to make money off the metal. In 2013, criminals cut out part of a cable in the Mediterranean. And because of this, internet speed in Egypt dropped by 60%, and it cost the country $64 million. The location of all the cables is publicly available, so who knows what could happen? Someone could decide to deprive the entire planet of internet. Have you ever thought about how to shut down the internet for the entire planet? Yes, it is possible. The electric wires and semiconductors on which the internet runs are vulnerable to powerful electric currents. A nuclear explosion creates an electromagnetic pulse that zaps everything electronic in its path. Dozens of nuclear explosions would be needed to disable the Earth's entire internet. But the bombs don't necessarily need to explode on Earth. In 1859, there was a solar superstorm. It was a geomagnetic storm caused by explosions on the sun, and it destroyed 62,000 miles of telegraph lines, leaving Europe and North America without communications. Such an event occurs once every 500 years, so prepare for an internet outage in 2359. Do you know that back in 2011, the UN recognized access to the internet as a basic human right, right alongside the right to life and freedom? No one would dare to take this right away from you. But if someone did want to get rid of the internet, what would be the easiest way to do it? Destroy the DNS servers. A DNS server is kind of like a map for IP addresses. There are 13 main servers around the world and another 1,758 backup copies. If all of them were physically destroyed simultaneously, the internet wouldn't disappear. But users would have to manually enter IP addresses for every site. That would be seriously time-consuming. So try to remember Google's IP address. It just might come in handy someday. Snot and Gob would be arranging a barbecue for themselves. It seems that even the normal temperature of the sun isn't enough to grill their infamous pan-galactic gargle bangers. Ah, now that's much better. Oops. Solar flares like these are not good because they usually disable all the power plants and electrical appliances on the Earth. This will definitely negatively affect all vital processes on the planet, particularly in medicine, or such absolutely crucial needs like social networks, likes, and reposts. Only Satanists won't be affected. It might even benefit them. And here's our ultra-fast turtle. Like everything electric, Elon's car broke down. The important thing here is not to celebrate ahead of time. He might be dumb, but Arnold for sure knows how to wink perfectly. Too bad he's intellectually challenged. The battery has died. Now, these guys need somehow get out of the desert. It's good that Elon has already come up with something. And it's even better that his trunk has a, a bucket, a mini rocket, and groceries. Ooh, potatoes are a great idea. After all, one potato can stably deliver 0.5 volts of voltage. It will take about 13 volts to start Arnold's combustion engine car. So, with 26 potatoes, a zinc nail, and copper wire, we should have enough to start the car. Darn it. The crank current is too low. To start the engine, you need hundreds of thousands of potato batteries. I'd advise you to hurry up. The sun is setting and the desert nights here get quite cold. Wow, guys, great outfit. I hope we can do without the famous blue crystal here today. Oh, wait, I know what you're trying to do.
If we take zinc bowls, screws, coins, sponges, potassium oxide, copper, brake pads, and we mix them together and connect them to the car, then we'll have a regular battery charge. The guys did everything right. It's a shame that there still isn't enough power to drive. Hurry up. The clock is ticking. Arnold, stop digging around there. Wait, show me what you found. A magnet! This is exactly what we need, Arnold. Hey, Elon, this isn't the best time for that. Ah, it's for a common cause. In 1831, Faraday conducted a similar experiment for the first time. For this, we need a coil, copper wire, and a magnet. We insert the magnet in a coil wound with copper. We move the magnet inside. What if the Earth suddenly stopped? At a full stop, due to inertia, all objects will fly east, reaching a speed of more than 1,500 kilometers an hour. Also, atmospheric disturbances will create strong winds. But at the same time, don't forget, the gravity of the Earth will remain the same. The momentum of the oceans and seas will create giant tsunamis, absorbing 27 kilometers of land per minute. A complete day will now last a full year, as the Earth, at a speed of 29.78 kilometers a second, makes a full circle around the sun. Daytime, sunrise to sunset, will last for six months under the hot, burning sun, with the remaining six months being nighttime, with the chill dipping down to minus 55 degrees. With the Earth stopped, its centrifugal force will create high hills at the equator. Later, they'll disappear, leaving one solid ring continent at the equator, separating two gigantic oceans. But the worst thing that will happen will be due to the core of the Earth stopping spinning. After all, it's the large molten metal sphere, which, through rotation, generates the Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic field protects the planet from radiation, so from now on, being on the surface is deadly dangerous. Arnold, I swear, you're like a moss piglet the way you survive disasters. You need to find shelter. I suggest you move to the equator where it's safest. Hurry, Arnold, you can catch the last bus to the catacombs. Now everyone has moved under the surface of the Earth. Don't worry, these are real cities with improved security. You can even grow food here. What an adventure, Arnold. That's what happens when you hit the snooze button 10 times in a row. You can oversleep the general evacuation of the whole planet. Come on, Arnold. Don't go rushing to get your panties all in a twist. People left a bunch of really cool stuff behind. What are you gonna do first? Seriously? A really huge burger? But what about cool cars and the opportunity to live in Trump's apartment? Do something cool! Wow, Arnie, you are a true hero. Releasing all the animals from the zoo, it's damn noble. Come on, folks, leave a like for this. But what about pets? There are 500 million cats and just as many dogs on Earth. And once they're free, they become prey to predators. But let's not talk about sad things when the whole dang planet is open for business. Yeah, the coolest roller coaster. The car accelerates to 206 kilometers an hour and drops from a height of 127 meters. Before, Arnold, they didn't let you in here because of your height, but now it's no problem. Hmm, somehow it doesn't look like it's all that fun. Without people, electricity will gradually disappear. Lithium batteries self-discharge after seven years, and you can forget about solar energy after about 20 years when the last panel fails. And nuclear power plants in a few decades will stop forever without human service. Arnold, get out of there! If you get injured, you won't be able to call 911. This time, you're in luck. As you can see, the problem with garbage ain't going nowhere. Plastic and glass will decompose only after 700 to more than a thousand years, and it will only get worse. Arnold? You survived! I see that the primitive life somehow suits you better than the civilized one. Living in cities is getting dangerous. I advise you to find another place to live. An airplane? Arnold, are you kidding me? Hey, don't touch anything here. Somehow, your imbecility is heraldic, Arnold. You've managed to fulfill the dreams of oh so many. To be absolutely alone on a massive cruise ship! Woohoo! 
For just a simple seven-day trip, they have more than 12,000 eggs, 380 kilograms of ice cream, and two tons of seafood and meat on board. This amount of food will be enough to last you around five years if you eat it all by your lonesome. After going on a cruise like this one, people on average gain up to three kilograms of excess weight. Cruise ships have a ton of entertainment, so much so in fact that for most passengers, seven days isn't enough to do and see it all. Oops, looks like we're out of fuel. At full speed, the ship burns up to five tons of fuel per day. Now you'll drift in the ocean just like all the other cruise liners do, because it's cheaper than staying in port. Arnold, looks like your vacation's going to be a wee bit longer than we expected. A whole month has passed. I wonder where this current will carry you. Congratulations, Arnold. Now the whole world hates you. Yay. Pack your bag, schmucko. Your vacation is over. Imagine if a wave caught you not in the bathroom, but in the sea. The Black Sea is, in fact, also a large bathtub, just the size of 340,000 cubic miles. It would take about 243 million years to fill it up. The sudden movement of tectonic plates causes waves. The seabed rises several hundred meters, thereby creating the deadly tsunami waves. We're now located in Portugal. The highest waves in the world are formed here. It's like a cheetah, but in the world of waves, because its speed has already reached 60 miles per hour. One Hawaiian surfer caught a 79-foot wave here. For this, he got into the Guinness Book of Records. Have you ever heard of a killer wave? These are single waves around 80 to 100 feet high, which can't be seen even from a ship. They can appear suddenly and imperceptibly. Therefore, there's very little time to save a ship's crew. Killer waves can sink a ship in just one hit. Even Conor McGregor would envy such a knockout. The largest wave on record was formed in 1958 in the Lituya Bay in Alaska. The wave reached 100 feet in height and covered the mountains approaching the bay. As a result, all vegetation up to an altitude of 1,700 feet above sea level was destroyed. And this is the height of five and a half Statues of Liberty. On a shore, nature itself will hint at the approach of a tsunami. Animals feel the disaster coming and begin to rush somewhere in a hurry or behave strangely. Birds form flocks and fly away. If on land, get in a car. On a bike, run. Ask King Kong to give you a lift at the very least. It's advised to get to a height of 120 <gasps> feet above sea level. Arnold, you better get to the top floor of the Empire State Building. The skyscraper's height is 102 floors, or 922 feet. The elevator goes up at a speed of 700 feet per minute, so you definitely have time. Oh, well, that's also possible. Don't shout underwater, otherwise you'll choke. Keep yourself conscious by any means. Science doesn't recognize the strange things taking place in the Bermuda Triangle. However, there are several non-scientific theories. According to one of them, everything that disappears here ends up in a parallel universe. Look, everything's a little different here. You look strange even to this dog. As you can see, your house has also changed a lot. I advise you to be careful there. Meet Arnold. This is Arnold, although from a parallel universe. He's much more successful than you and even sports a stylish mustache. Ah. And it looks like he doesn't like you at all. At the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle is the mythical city of Atlantis. Don't ask, because I have no idea why the ancient Atlanteans needed all these planes and ships. But ancient customs and traditions are harsh. Someone like you will be immediately turned into a slave. Or if you can't handle it, you'll be turned into fuel for steamboats. Careful, Arnold, new vehicles are arriving. There is another theory. Everything that happens in the Bermuda Triangle is due to aliens. And perhaps they're taking vehicles to study human technology or putting it in a museum. 
Just look at how much stuff they have in their exhibits. Since aliens are poorly versed in terrestrial life forms, you were placed with mushrooms. Don't be offended, Arnold. It could be because of your haircut. You won't be bored for long. They say aliens abduct people for a different purpose. You must get pregnant and carry their alien baby. Sorry, Arnold, but aliens are also bad at gender. 